Welcome to Terry's for breakfast. Welcome to another episode of the marathon. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. We've got Thomas and we've got Shan. So Terry's is one of my clients and um, we're here to take photos of food. So let me show you what our table looks like. Just a casual breakfast of carbs. I feel like we should have invited more people. <laughs> It's about quarter after 11 and no quarter to 12 and just chilling on the couch um super tired today we were up at two and then i couldn't get thomas back to sleep and i didn't get back to sleep and but then when i did get back to sleep i was having like nightmares and it's like crying and it was gross so here i am laying down <laughs> <laughs> trying to decide if I'm gonna nap if not I think Shannon and I are just gonna watch some scandal and chill out she's currently creating some sort of vegetables for us after this morning's breakfast <laughs> which was delicious don't get me wrong but I feel like maybe some greenery would be a good idea and we've moved everything back into the living room and the paint looks amazing can I see oh and we moved the plant so just really feeling like exhausted today. Um, today is the two month anniversary of Jeremy taking his life and it's also ridiculously coincidentally stupid. Today's the one year anniversary of him joining Facebook. And the only reason why I know that is because I got a video saying like, you and Jeremy have been friends for a year and then Facebook makes this video of all your memories. I didn't watch it, but I was just like, I don't need to see that. And then it's like him with other people because it's also their one year anniversary since he only joined Facebook a year ago. So that sucks. So Shannon and I were just having the discussion of like what to do with his Facebook account. Like do I just delete it? Do I make it one of those like in memoriam pages? But then I'm still going to have to like brace myself to see stuff. I don't know. Is that too weird of a topic to ask you? We're all friends here, marathoners. What do you think? Delete? That's what I'm leaning towards. Like, he only had it for a year. It's not like I'm deleting like 10 years worth of photos or something. I don't know. Anyway, super tired today. But trying not to complain about it because that's one of my pet peeves. Um, Thomas has gone out for a few hours with Lori, one of my beautiful respite helpers. So I think we might just chill while he's not here. In fact, I think Shan may force me. <laughs> Which I'm totally okay with. You're looking at Mare from the Future. It's two days later and I'm sitting down to edit this vlog and I realized that the rest of the day's footage got deleted. So... This would be a really weird ending to a video. I do remember what I talked about for the rest of the day, so I thought I would just catch you up and show you a little bit of my office, because that's what I ended up showing. Um, <clears throat> this was a really hard day for me. Uh, the two month anniversary, the getting up at two, the having nightmares, that was the first real night I'd had nightmares about Jeremy, about other people in my life. Um, and then I would just like wake up crying and be crying in my dreams, but then be crying in real life as well. And it was just, the day was extremely difficult. Shan and I did end up sitting on the couch. We watched three episodes of Scandal while Thomas was having respite. And then when he got back, I did some work and then I managed to, um, get rid of a full garbage bag worth of garbage out of my office, which felt great, and then also consolidate two tubs into one of stuff that I just put in the storage room, because I'm basically like making the house look good and then purging some stuff, but then also some stuff I'm just putting in the storage room and I figure I'll go through it in the winter and like, slowly. <clears throat> I don't want to do too much too soon and make too many decisions. That's sort of been a piece of advice for me. Someone said like don't make any massive decisions in the first year. Like some stuff I've gotten rid of it's not a big deal or it, I know that that would still be my decision in a year but anywho. So that felt really good. I'd had a tub in my room and I'd had a tub in my office. They're now gone. 
Um, so, and then Shan did something amazing. She left, went to the grocery store, bought groceries, came back, and made a recipe out of the Oh She Glows cookbook. What? Just like dinner was prepared. A vegan dinner out of one of my favorite cookbooks. She made the Tex-Mex casserole. It was just like, she just did. And that was like a big thing when Shan was here. Like she helped me with so much stuff, but she just like did it. It was awesome. I'm having a really hard time making a lot of decisions right now. Like a lot of my energy is like Thomas, grief, my business. And a lot of other decisions just like I can't like where to go for dinner or if someone needs directions or instructions like I just would rather them figure it out <laughs> and Shan was incredible so she made us dinner and then we did some more DIY in the basement which I will show you another day um, but because the clip got deleted and I still want to show you thought I would show you some of the progress on my office so this video is a little bit longer has a little more substance and isn't just me talking about how tired I was from having nightmares but yeah let me show you some positive things this is my new chair that I bought at Ikea a few weeks ago and then I made it on my birthday so it's actually like two adults could sit there closely but like Thomas and I can fit no problem um, so I'm really happy with it he likes to sit here while I work and then he also likes this new rug that I got from Ikea um, this was a gift from my friend Deb and this Shan made what like she's a quilter it's incredible and then I brought this Hudson's Bay blanket up that used to be on the back of the couch downstairs and then we have this Remember like weeks ago when I was lamenting about how expensive a filing cabinet will be? Well, I just went and got it repurposed. So, without showing you any personal information, because now I've filled it, can you see that like uggo color down there? That's what the filing cabinet was. This was free from Sun FM like years ago. <laughs> Jeremy took it. So now it's beautiful and look what she put on the top. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's so awesome. She put my tagline. It makes me so happy. So, got this all filled. And then on top we have my beautiful Nana and Granddad. And, I mean, this obviously isn't, like, decor yet, but, like, how cool is this? So I went to a place called Garage Princess Alley for the, um, filing cabinet. I'm so happy with it. And then, um, it's still a blank wall up here, but I have ordered some bits off Etsy again, so I'm really pumped for those to arrive and show you what I've decided to do up there. Um, it's still a real work in progress, but having the tub gone makes me feel really good. And yeah, just slowly but surely. So that is it for today's vlog. Um, Mary from the future says, don't worry, tomorrow's gonna be better. <laughs> I know this is super weird, but I'm so bummed that the clips got deleted and I didn't wanna just, you know. So, today was really hard, one of the hardest ones yet. When I don't get sleep, that's like really difficult. And then when Thomas doesn't get sleep too, I just feel for him. Although, it was incredible timing to have Shan here. She's such a great friend. So that's it for today. Lace up, become a marathoner, subscribe to my channel, join the marathoner family. Life's not a sprint, it is a marathon. And I feel like I am the perfect example of this. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye.